Hi everyone, I hope you are doing well. So today we will see how to create this kind of effect with Typeflow VDB that I created for my Fungus project. We will see how to apply texture and maps to be able to deform our object, as well as how to control the speed of the deformation and apply textures. You can also find, as usual, my complete Fungus project on Patreon, as well as all the other projects. Okay, let's start now. Okay, so now we are in 3ds Max and the first thing I'm going to do is just to create a sphere that will be used as my base shape. Okay, like this. 100 segment is enough. Now what I want to do is to create my growth effect. So I will create now a type of setup. So here, type flow, open editor, and now I will play with VDB. So here, I create a browse VDB. I can add an object to SDF, pick my sphere, and now we can see I have my VDB sphere created with my sphere one. Now what I want to do is to create my expansion, my growth effect. So I will add a VDB modify, VDB modify here. Modify go add to velocity, vector operation to set an input vector to SDF normal. I have nothing to change here. I can now see if it works. And we see that nothing happened. It's because I need to switch my timing to continuous and to add a VDB solver. So here, VDB solver. And now we can see that we have our expansion. Okay, it's great, but maybe it's too fast. So if you want to slow down your animation, the best way to do that, in my opinion, is to go back to VDB modify in velocity and to play with the modify output vector. I have here the multiplier and I can maybe decrease the multiplier value to 0 0.5. And you can see that it's already slow the animation, but I can go slower if I want, 0 0.2. And I have a very slow animation, very slow growth effect. Okay, I can go back now to a better value, I think maybe 0 0.6. And I think this speed is good for me for the moment. Okay, so now what I want to do is to create a more organic look into my sphere for my gross organic effect. So I will add another VDB modify. VDB modify. So here, timing to continuous for this one too. Here, change nothing. And for the vector operation, I will select multiply. Input scala, I will change and select text map. Okay, why text map? Just because we want to create our deformation based on the look of a texture we will create now. Okay, so I can open my material editor. I can hide the type of one. I will now create a very material. And for the diffuse, I will use a map. So here, maps, general, and maybe play with the cellular. I can now apply this texture to my sphere. To see the look. Okay, so we have a cool texture here, but we'll try to have something maybe more interesting. So I will play with the cell characteristic. I can maybe decrease the size to a value of three, decrease the spread a bit too, maybe something like this or more, 0 0.25. Okay, so basically the white part will create our deformation and the black part will do nothing. Okay, so I can go back to Typeflow, go back to the open editor, here VDB modify, and for the object, I will pick my sphere one. Okay. I can go down in the menu, and for the texture, the text map here, I will drag and drop my cellular, like this. I can maybe decrease the voxel size because I think one is too high. So to have a better look, I think 0 0.5 will be good for the moment. And now we will see the result. And if I go forward in the animation, we start to see we have something very interesting like this. We have a growth effect based on the look of our texture. I can go back here and maybe modify my cellular. I can add a fractal. And you can see that it changed the look of our deformation. I can also change the size if I want a more big effect maybe a size of 10, like this. You can see a big part. 
I think I will just remove the fractal for this effect. Okay, just here, big bubble, so I think I will just activate the fractal again. I can, if I want, decrease the spread or increase it. If I decrease the spread, you will have less big part, like this. And if I increase the spread to a value of 0.5, you can see that I have more growth effect in my sphere. Okay, I can again maybe decrease the voxel size to have something more interesting again, maybe 0.35. Okay, cool, it's already a really cool organic effect. What we can do too, is to go back to the VDB modifier. You can also go back to the modify output vector. If you want, you can play with the multiplier too. If I increase the multiplier, you will see that the deformation will be faster. And we can see that the growth effect is really fast, like this, really organic, it's really cool. You can go to the modify input scala. What I like to do is just to activate the retarget here and play with the curve. You can play with the curve here to modify the look. I can add a point on the curve here and maybe move the point like this. And here I have a really cool effect too, very different. I can maybe adjust a bit the curve like this. And I think the look is really cool, like this. So I can go back, if I want, to my cellular, change the parameter. Maybe I will try with a low spread, 0.3. Yeah, it's really cool like this. If you want to smooth your animation, you have two ways to do that. You can just add a tie relax, tie relax here, and up the iteration, maybe, 20, decrease the amount. And here you can see how it affects the look of your shape. Or what you can do is to go back to type flow. Don't need the type relax. Open editor. And I will add a VDB filter. A VDB filter here. And for the SDF filter, I will select curvatures that look good in my opinion. Okay, of course, I change the timing to continuous. And if I launch animation, you can see that you have something really smooth too. Okay, it's a good result, but it's not what I want. I want something with more detail. So I will just deactivate the VDB filter for the moment. As I said, you can play with the map, but you can also play with texture if you want. So I will create a type bitmap. So here general, no, so here maps, general, and type bitmap. Here, I can select no map, maybe this one, and just as previously, go back to VD modify and drag and drop the map in the map slot here. So I select my type bitmap and I link the type bitmap in the slot. I just have to wait for the animation. And as you can see, I have a very different result based on the look of my texture, like this. So it's a cool way to create deformation too, but personally, I prefer to play with cellular or other map because you can have more control in all the characteristics of your maps. Okay, so go back to Typeflow and I will switch to my original cellular map. Okay, so now that I have something interesting to me, now what I want to do is to create a texture that will follow the deformation of my shape. So I will add another VDB modify. VDB modify. Here, change the modify grid to UVW. And for the input vector, I will select surface UVW. I will now select my sphere one here. And now it's time to create a texture. Okay, so now I will create my texture. So, for the texture, I will go here to V-Ray and select V-Ray Fast SSS 2. I can apply V-Ray SSS to my VDB. For the preset, I will select uh, Born. I can maybe see the result in live. Maybe up the scale to have something again more organic. Up the specular a bit like this to have more reflect. And now what I want to do is to apply a texture. So I will go to maps, V-Ray and select V-Ray bitmap. I can link 
the map to the SSS color texture and to the overall color texture. I will now select my bitmap. Mm, maybe this one here. For the mapping source, I can maybe change and select Vray VW randomizer. Select stochastic tilling to have something more random and maybe play with the tilling a bit like this, like this. Okay. What I can do is to maybe add a bump. So I will go to general and add this time a noise, I think. Select fractal size. 0.6 you can see here you have some bump i can go forward in the animation to see how it looks and you can see that you have already something very interesting here i can again go forward maybe frame 60. yeah it's really great like this it's already a really cool effect but if i want i can add again more information maybe like my fungus effect with add some displacement in the look of my shape so to do that I will simply go back here to frame zero, activate my render, and for the displacement, I will add another cellular. So here cellular, maybe a value of three for the size, and we see that we have a really cool displacement on the look of our shape. I can now go forward in the animation, relaunch the render, and we see a total different look with really cool effect. I can maybe increase my displacement, displacement maybe 60, relaunch. And you can see here I have a very interesting look like this. And if you want to decrease the spread of your cellular, and I have a lot of small spike here, it's really cool like that. If you want to change a bit the look of your texture, you can just uh, get rid of the SSS color texture. You can go back to your texture, maybe try with another one. Maybe like this, can be really cool if maybe I increase the color. I can go back to the very fast SSS and decrease the glossiness a bit. 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Increase the scale, maybe 10. maybe 10 or maybe a really slow value if I want something with more shadow. It's up to you to play with this value to create the look you want for your effect. I think a value of between 1 and 10 is good, maybe 6 would be perfect. Really cool like this, I will maybe change the look of the spike just by increase the spread like this. Okay, so it's over for this tutorial. I hope you've learned a lot of things. Don't forget to give me a thumb up and to subscribe if you like my work. You can find the complete project on Patreon and you can also follow me on Instagram or Beyond if you want. See you soon for the next tutorial, guys. Bye.